story continued. So the beauty queen was gone. She went to Moldavia. Uh, but she was coming back in a few days. Uh, uh, what the story was uh, briefly was this. She has tried, had tried to pass an exam for the the name of it? IATC, Institutul de Artă Teatrală și Comedie. I don't know, it, it, it had a, a name that skips, uh, escaped my mind, obviously. But it was basically to become an actress. She wanted to be an actress. And she tried uh, once and she failed. So now she had to be prepared and she could do that, um, I'm a, I don't know, if only in the capital, in Bucharest, but anyway, better than in a provincial town such as uh, Yash, Yasi, as I heard people say it in English. Um, and so she was most of the time in the capital, but went to see her parents uh, as often as she could. Uh, indeed, in, in, in the city she could have opportunities like the event I mentioned in the previous episode, um, which were not all that lucrative. One side of this winning the contest, the first time, the first person to win this uh, contest, was that it could offer some opportunities in a normal uh, country, but uh, where these things were known and uh, the rules were well established, but in the period right after the revolution, Romania was a sort of a wild west where uh, indeed the there was no experience of contracts, of doing business, there were just the communist rules still in effect. And people mistrusted each other and there was in, uh, indeed a tendency to, like in the Wild West, to apply the rule of the strongest and the survival of the fittest. Which applied to this case, that is, uh, the piece of paper, the, 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 uh, the rules, uh, applied to this uh, event, the pageant, the beauty pageant, and the winner were very constrictive and uh, they were all in favor of the uh, people uh, managing the thing and the winner, the participants, were treated as uh, some sort of slaves. Uh, on a side note, if we think America and uh, the Donald, who is now the president-elect of the greatest democracy in, in the world, perhaps the previous greatest democracy in the world, because with this guy, the greatest democracy, come on, I, I'm joking, I'm still a, an, a fan of, of America, but uh, I'm beginning to lose uh, uh, the complete trust in democracy, I mean, if democracy produces this, True, the debate now is how much uh, tyranny like Russia has influenced the results by hacking into the DNC, the Democratic uh, uh, Convention, the, 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 the emails and the rest. Uh, but um, still, so he, 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 he controlled the pageant in the US. He, he abused at least one of the participants, calling her a Miss Piggy or whatever, and uh, he's also known as recorded on, on, on that bus with the infamous Billy Bush, uh, saying, uh, well, women, if they're beautiful, I go and kiss them, they let you do whatever, you can grab them by the pussy. So if he's the one with that part of the pageant, and he's, that's what he's doing, well, what could you expect from those uh, dealing with it here? True, I should have stayed away, but seeing uh, how unfair it was, uh, I got involved, alas. Uh, my mistake.
thing. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So I, I, I'm at the point where I was waiting for the return of the Snow White, um, Cinderella woman. 